to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, there is a there was a college football quarterback. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Something Sluka was his name. I don't even really, I really want to give him the give him the benefit here. Uh, he was playing for a school, a very small school, UNLV, University of Las Vegas. Uh-huh. They were uh they were popular in basketball in the nineties. Larry Johnson. I want to look up the UNLV. Uh... Look him up. Yeah. He... So basically. They they came out back in the day, the running rebels. <laughs> that is literally their boom. What's this guy's name? Uh, S L U K A. L U K A. Yeah, U K A. Um, and then, yeah. So basically, he he went to UNLV, mm-hmm. and he started out three and zero, performing very well, and he quit the team. He quit the team. He quit the team after three games. So he just, he's just going to go pro? <laughs> no, he can't yet. So basically what happens is a couple years ago, they said that college football players could start making money yeah. for name image likeness. They call yeah. it NIL. NIL. Um, so basically what happened, you know, so because I mean, basically they would pay for, he looks like the type of guy that would quit. Um wow. and uh wow. I don't even know. Uh you don't know that man's heart. <laughs> I mean, obviously we do. Uh so and he said that he was he was guaranteed that he would get a hundred thousand dollars yeah. nil money from from the coaches when he went there to you know when they were doing their recruiting or like whatever. So uh, but what, what happens is there's something called the nil collective. It's like, that's who pays out the nil money. They never agreed to that money. <laughs> the, the college football player collective did not agree to give him a hundred thousand dollars. He was not cleared. He was not cleared, but they promised it to him because the coaches promised it to him to get him to play for them. Right. And, and he probably went to their office and just, I just want to make sure the checks are going to be all right. Right. And they're like, what checks? And they're like, yeah, 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 we got it. We got it all together. So, And secretly, they're like, we got to come up with $25,000. It's <laughs> it said that they paid him $3,000. 3000 As a one payment. And then they were still discussing up until last weekend about paying him uh, up to $3,000 a month. Um, $3,000 a month? Yeah. Uh... To do what? To play football. That's not enough. I mean, they a lot of them make nothing. So yeah, but average that out: the three thousand dollars a month times twelve. What is yeah, that? Thirty six thousand. That is, we're missing the benchmark that has already been set. Right, right. So drastically. So he's a he's a redshirt freshman, and what's that it, like? And that means he's like a true freshman. He's like only he's probably think he's only eighteen years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can play. Up to four games in a season and still use your red shirt tag, which basically means like you sit a season. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so he basically claimed that he claimed his he played three games, then claimed his red shirt. So he saves his eligibility for a future season, but he basically basically he quit because he, he's like, I'm not getting my money. I'm gonna quit. So okay, so what it was is that he was starting. Yeah, he played three games. They won all three handsomely. Okay. And then he was like, if I'm not going to get paid, then I'm not going to play. Right. Exactly. But here's the thing. In college, you're not guaranteed money. Like, you don't, not everybody gets money. A a verbal contract holds precedence. Not if you're not the ones paying the money out. If you don't have authority to give the money, how can you tell us? If I walked up to you and said, TNT, you're in luck. Government's going to give you a million bucks. Well, it looks like now he'll be getting paid his $34,000 to go to practice, which he probably would have already done, and sit on the bench. Thank He's you very much. transfer. I mean, if they, that's well, going to pay him anything. They were just talking about doing that. They hadn't, like, guaranteed he was going to get it. So I mean, he's entitled to something, right? No. He's entitled, he's entitled they, to the contract he signed. If they use your likeness, I thought that was what this was about. Yeah, but they didn't agree to terms. Homeboys start playing without a, a, a deal in place. 
Oh, now see, now that's that's a mistake on his behalf. Well, right. So, so you have to use the only leverage that you have. Well, right. So, but here's the thing. Now he looks. Now he looks like a. I'm gonna take my ball and go home. So who the hell is going to bring him in and want him to play there? I'm sorry. I don't feel like he looks like that. After looking at it from his point of view, I, I see that he made a mistake. He made an error. But on the same note, you got to do whatever you got to do. He wasn't, he wasn't going to get paid his money. You promised him something. He, they was, there was discussions that took place. Yeah, but he's not in the NFL. You're right. If he was in the NFL, what would his, what would his course of action be? He would have got a contract and signed it and not been an idiot. Okay, so at that point, we've already made that mistake. What is our option now? Uh, I'm not playing. Follow your word? When they decide to do their side of that bargain, I will decide to do I that side know, of the man. bargain for myself. I, now I'm convinced you're him. I'm not, you I walking just, home? If you're not getting your money, you leaving? I don't know, Jonas. Are we really going to sit up here and protect this billion-dollar industry of football? They have the money to pay the kid. They told the, the coaches may have made some harebrained promise and they what they refuse to take it out of their pocket. They can't scrape together seventy five thousand dollars. These professional football coaches to at least uh, not renege on the promise that they gave this guy. And this kid, 18 years old, making bold business decisions that will probably ostracize him from professional football and college football alike. All he wanted was what was promised to him. I don't see a problem with that. Yes, it looks bad on paper. It might, in a court of popular opinion, he may look like a jerk, but I'm on his side. He is the worker. He comes from whatever the family he comes from. The first time he can make some real big money, and then you tell him that he's not going to get it, and he's going to get $34,000 to be living like a common person? <laughs> he just right. won three games of football for you. Hey, you know, you got to pay for what you want. If he's the next big thing, then treat him like that. I mean, I don't know if he's the next big thing, but nobody he's the best, does. He's the best thing they ever got. He, they, he was enough of a big thing for them to initially offer or at least tease the offer of a thousand dollars of a thousand, a hundred thousand dollars a year. He would not have come there if that offer was not on the table. But here, here's that my, is a bait and yeah, switch. But here's my point. My thought. What's up? UNLV is not a football school. They are not. So, if if UNLV had to bring him there for that, does anybody else want him? Um, what what do you mean? How do you mean? If, if you're you willing to sign with a school that is not known for football, yes. that means none of the big boy schools wanted you, bro. Cleveland Browns, get out of here! Get, get out of here! We li we came from there. We've seen this plenty is, of people you're talking. I love how you do this all the time. You bring up shit that doesn't have anything to do with anything. No, what this I'm is saying NCAA is NCAA football. And you talk about the Browns. Well, give me a chance to explain. I will explain the Cleveland Browns constantly get players who don't want to be there, who just come for the check. They don't have a choice. They're drafted. We are not a football team. We we've got drafted people. And then we got people that we trade for like our, the court, the current quarterback. Who came there for one? Who came there for one reason? Or the one guy, the running back, that ended up hurting himself when he came here a few games back? Or I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know football. But regardless, all I'm saying is that yes, money makes you move. If you can make play, make waves on a shit team and get that fan base behind you, it's going to make news. And nothing's better than bad publicity. You and LVs winning games. That's a beautiful thing. It's going to be hard for you to do. But yeah, money makes you go places. If they offered me $100,000 a year to move back to Ohio, $100,000 goes a long way in Ohio. <laughs> it goes way farther than it goes in Austin. That's a goddamn shit. Right? I'd be living like a king in Ohio. <laughs> okay, then. Ashville County. So if you are willing to give up your reservations to moving back to Ohio, which you know is hell on earth, I don't see a problem with him going to UNLV for that. And then once you tell me it's not that, no, I don't want to play for your team. <laughs> Get out of here. Liars. Damn. Liars. Damn, what happened to loyalty? What loyalty? <laughs> what happened to loyalty? What happened, what happened to the, the uh, uh, between your worker and your, uh, your employer? Employee rights. There has to be some middle ground here, man. If you make a promise... Or you tease something to get me in the door. You cannot switch it up, all right? That's insane. That's insane. I don't know, man. Let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, but that's all the time we got for today. Uh, 
For Jonas. Thanos did nothing wrong. TNT. <laughs> we out.